before doing the binding, you'll stretch it like this so it curls in. And that, that makes it easier to line it up right along the edge as you sew it. I'm going to start the binding at the back neck and go all the way around and then overlap it about a half of an inch. And the zigzag stitch that I'm going to use is really thin so it makes it easier to not catch those curled edges. You're going to have to move them out of the way a little bit as you go. Okay, again I'm starting at the back neck here and you're lying it on the right side of the fabric. You'll kind of move the curls out of the way to start. And here's where, where you'll overlap. You'll have some extra binding on the back, so just trim it. And then I'll trim these edges too if they're too long. Because it doesn't curl quite as much after you overlap it. Okay, that looks better. And I'll do the exact same thing to both armholes. Alright, there's all three bindings done.